Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Valerie, and this is The Hargett Life. Today's video is part of a holiday cookie recipe exchange, and it's hosted by Jenny Goff. She's put together a playlist that I'll have linked in my description box below. So as soon as you get done watching this video, be sure to go check out Jenny's channel and the playlist for a lot of delicious cookie recipes. The recipe I'm sharing with you today is for cornflake cookies. These cookies are definitely not the soft and chewy. They're more like a shortbread or a pecan sandy. So if you like crunchy cookies, this will be the recipe for you. Now let's get started. For these cookies, you're gonna need some granulated sugar, salt, baking soda, vanilla extract, butter, cream of tartar, all-purpose flour, butter flavored shortening, corn flakes, and chopped pecans. I've got a medium-sized bowl here. I'm gonna to sift together three cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, and two teaspoons of cream of tartar, and a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna stir this, and now I'm gonna set this to the side. Before I forget, I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Now in a large mixing bowl, I'm gonna add in two sticks of butter. And the recipe doesn't say, but I like to get the butter out a couple hours before I'm ready for it and let it come to room temp. And that was one cup of butter flavored shortening and two cups of granulated sugar. Now I'm gonna cream these together just until well combined. I should've used my stand mixer but I feel like it's easier for y'all to see this way. Crack the ball down. Oh, I forgot to add the vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now I'm gonna add in my dry ingredients a little at a time. I am slinging stuff everywhere. And you just wanna mix this just until combined. Do not over mix. I'm just gonna finish mixing it by hand and then we'll fold the pecans and the cornflakes in. And that's four cups of cornflakes and one cup of pecans chopped. It is hard to make these and not make a mess. I've got all this pretty well combined. I've got my baking tray lined with this little silicone liner. And if you don't have these, you can use parchment paper. This is about a three tablespoon size cookie scoop. I'm just gonna scoop and drop. Okay, these go into the oven at 350 for about 12 minutes just until the bottoms around the edges barely start to get golden brown. This is not your ordinary cookie recipe. These cookies are packed with texture, crumble like a shortbread, 
and have a delicious buttery flavor. These are also really good with butterscotch chips added in. I really hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out Jenny's channel and the playlist linked below for more delicious cookie recipes. And one last thing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one.